Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Yes, I am bundled up. You don't want to see me. I look like an Eskimo, guys. I got on two jackets, two pair of pants, and a hat. And let me just say, it's for a good purpose because I cannot take how the yard is starting to look with all this pollen. So today, we're just going to kick it into gear and do a small project. Does your front porch or house or areas outdoors look like this? I hate it, but I have to endure it because it's just the process of going into spring. So in a couple of more weeks, I won't have this and I can do better, but let's start a project today. The shrubs look okay. These flower pots and of course, these outdoor lights sitting here, those gonna need to be replaced. And yeah, this one won't survive much longer. See, I even tried to like make sure I you know, put a little adhesive to keep it one more season. Uh-uh, not gonna work, guys. Not going to work. Yeah, you see that. All right, I still want to have this same kind of pot. So, look what I found. There we were, Home Depot. Nice and big. Twice as big as the other ones, guys. So I'm using this Rust-Oleum Forged Hammered Paint to paint them and it looks amazing. I didn't want black. I thought that would be a little too aggressive out front considering the colors of our house. So I went with this sort of a brushed bronze look and you basically paint the inside lip of the flower pot, not all the way down and then paint the outside. Great paint for this. It's going to rain. So after I finish painting these, I'm gonna leave them out for a day or so and just let the rain and the wind just blow away all of the spray paint residue. So that way my plants are not affected by this. I gotta be honest, we have frogs and lizards coming out of everywhere in the springtime. So I have to jump on this a little early. So it's okay if I'm doubled in clothing and I'm a little cold, but I am avoiding all of the things that I am pretty much scared of. Now, the new hole that I'm digging for the larger pots, I want to make sure that it is wide enough to basically cover the bottom of the pot. I also want to make sure I do not dig into the landscape fabric or damage the sprinkler system because if you start just chopping in the ground, you might just hit that hose and do a little damage and that can be very expensive to replace. You see that hose? Don't go just chopping around in your yard. Aha, uh -huh, right there, gotta be careful. It is March Madness, so you might hear some yelling in the background. Yes, the fellas are here and it's all about the sports and I'm trying to edit a video. That's just how we are. Yes, bring on the workout. Yes, I have gotten in a quite a few steps doing this and I'm very excited. The girls got to get in shape. So here's the order. I placed some of the large rock pebbles from my neighbor's yard in the bottom of the pot. And then I place a ground soil about halfway and then on top of that I do a regular potting soil. Now because this is such a large pot I did add water about two-thirds of the way before I added the final layer of soil. Now I'm adding the original Purple Heart, which grows all over these pots, up and out. And now I'm also adding some hyacinth that I purchased from Home Depot. Aren't they beautiful? Our landscaper also installed a line for the pots originally. So 
I am going to use that same line to water these pots. So when the sprinkler comes on, my flowers automatically get watered. So I did have to do some adjustments and I'm going to let you see how I run the line through the handle of the pot and reinsert it inside of the pot. I think this is an excellent addition. If you got a sprinkler system, you can do this on any of the lines. You can do it. Now this is like a little teeny tiny water hose for your flower pot and it attaches to this tiny little stake that sticks down into the flower pot and that little stake has tiny little holes on the top of it where the water comes out and waters your flowers whenever the sprinkler system comes on. I can't tell you how many times I get stopped by neighbors or people driving by wanting to know how that I got that line attached to that and I just tell them my landscaper did it because I really don't know what's going on underground to be perfectly honest. So again, I'm just inserting it through the handle of the pot just to kind of make sure all the pressure isn't put on the angle in which the hose is going to flow and I just stick the little stake down into the flower pot. I can turn that little dial so the water comes out really strong or I can turn it come out in droplets but this is a great addition if you have a sprinkler system and you want to put a pot in your yard filled with flowers you can do just this. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. Quick and easy and to the point. Yes, I was brave in the elements, but you are worth it. And I want to see some signs of spring in the yard amidst all of the pollen. Now, listen, coming up on Easter Sunday is going to be an outdoor living space lookbook collaboration with the Dream Team and our special guests. We each have a guest, guys. We're so excited about this. Now, several of them could very well be outside in the cold like me or could be working on some things inside that will be brought outside a little bit later. So I hope you'll subscribe to our channels and go ahead and get the heads up by pressing the bell, your notification bell, slide it over until you get some brackets around it because that's how you will be notified when the very next video is popping up. Now I have finally gotten plenty of supplies to do plenty DIYs and I'm so, so, so excited. So to warm up a little bit, I'm gonna be inside the next time and then we're coming back outside again. So bear with me coat on and coat off, but we're still going to have a whole lot of fun. See you again in a couple of days, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.